Okay, we are recording. Um, what do we call the people in the tardigrade group? Are they tardigradians? Ooh. Or, or tardigraders? Tardig tarda tardigradophiles. Tardigradophiles. That's dangerous. Yeah. I mean. I mean that's the one water bear see water bear i think yeah maybe what you said first um oh oh not not tardophiles not maybe not tardophiles or maybe tardophiles i mean either tardify <laughs> maybe not either tardophiles or tardigradians maybe tardigradians yeah. tardigradians <laughs> yeah I guess that one has kind of like a, a mathy sound to it too, with, with radians. Oh, you're right, it does. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point, actually. <laughs> All right, that sounds a lot cooler. Yeah. But this is the idea I've had for a little bit. I'm finally pulling it to fruitation. Um, so this one, I'm going to share screens. The idea is like just going through a bunch of mini topics <laughs> um, and talking about them. Um, I also have plans in the future, maybe like emailing some of my past professors. And mm -hmm. seeing if they would come on and talk about some of their stuff. Oh, I bet they would. But, but do it like in a funny way at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> you mean like make them wear some clown makeup and do yeah, a little, make, uh, balloon animal? Make them wear the the cat in a hat. Oh, that's you know. true. I like that. <laughs> a balloon animal. I just thought a tardigrade would make a pretty. Would that make? Would that be an easy balloon animal to make? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Seems like it would, but I think I'd break. I don't know if I could make a balloon animal. They look like, like easy, do you have to? Do you have to include the claws? Because that would be a pain in the ass. Like the claws on each foot. Yeah. The <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know. I don't. Uh, yeah, because it wouldn't be a. It would just be like a. It would look like a. Uh, um, a sea pig. What's that? Uh, oh, yeah. See, yeah. Right? It's like a, a sea cucumber. Yeah. That, that type of sea cucumber that would, if it didn't have the claws, I think it would be kind of hard to make. Yeah. It. Like, yeah, you're right. You'd have, I think you'd have to somehow <laughs> incorporate the claws. But yeah. I think we just invented something. I think we did. Yeah. And um, copyright. Yeah. Copyright. With a circle around it. Yeah. Sea pig mm -hmm. balloon animal. Yes. No one can I'm make it. We, I'm all for it. <laughs> we invented that. <laughs> Do you have any invertebrate stories before I pull up? Oh, my gosh. Invertebrate stories. Come on. <laughs> um, invertebrates are pretty amazing. Um, Although uh, I think both you and I are people who work on vertebrates mostly yeah. professionally, we appreciate weird. the amazing diversity and wonderful weirdness of invertebrates. Well, yeah. Um, my goodness, it's you can't even. I mean, yeah, there's some pretty weird vertebrates out there. It, it, whenever you can have something like a blue whale, but also a naked mole rat, but also a Sicilian like a, a, a marsupial mole, a dinosaur, a, yeah. a, a baboon. Yeah, you've got a lot of variety of vertebrates. That's fine. Fish, eh, whatever, cool. But man, that's a group. Invertebrates okay. itself, that's it's not something that's like a, you know. Just, just a group, a group yeah. that holds together. Like it's, the, <laughs> it's, it's the rest of the 97% of yeah. zones. Everything else. So just the whole, <laughs> I mean, the fact that, uh, so I don't know what for your money, Zach. What do you think is the weirdest invertebrate group that? Oh my God! I think is the most kind of you know strikes you as when you look at it, you're like, hmm. okay, that's weird. That, well, I mean, hmm. I guess that parasitic worm that infects your kidneys. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like it like gets in there and then it kind of like hollows it out and it like that's takes weird. over your kidney. That's rude. I, so I don't like, know. yeah, you could like crack it open like an egg, and a giant worm will come out of it. Oh wow! <laughs> the... And be alive. I mean, like the fact that yeah, it's like all right, yeah, yeah, and, and be alive. Like this kidney, and I'm ready for the next buffet. So that's that's. I guess that's a weird group. That is a pretty weird. Group. <laughs> yeah. For my money, and I know it's not maybe the. It, it it's not the most, um, I guess, anatomically distant group from vertebrates but i still think echinoderms are just weird as hell i'm glad you brought that up because our first thing today an echinoderm oh so, yeah Whoa. well you, well you just spoiled it i guess i'll all right see you next time everybody Gavin. all right thanks guys <laughs> um 
one invertebrate story that pops in my head is actually one that we both witnessed. And is a uh, when we had the two scorpions in the live room at the museum mm -hmm. and you were feeding them crickets and they were like the two scorpions were fighting over like one cricket corpse <laughs> <laughs> as the other ones were just like watching the corner like Ooh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's all we're gonna wait we're gonna hold back yeah. on this one yeah sorry steve uh <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're on your own man it's it's over that was um um, my favorite scorpion story also from the live room was we had a um i don't think it was the desert hairy i think it was a uh is it 13 lined i can't remember what the other there's mm. what the other sort of main largish mm -hmm. sonoran desert scorpion is <clears throat> and um she was a mom had babies and there were a bunch of babies on her back one time and i was in there checking them out and one of the babies beautiful little you know translucent grain of rice looking thing yeah um cool. she this little baby climbs up right in front of the mom's chelicera and she grabs it <laughs> and their bed of belt it just starts to munch just munches it she's like, like mm. eats this baby that because you know got too close to her mouth yeah i just like were the other babies like oh <laughs> just, they're just watching like oh, holy uh, shit what? <laughs> Uh, don't mess with mom. She's she's angry. Yeah, he's in a bad mood. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I wish I could have filmed that. Or something. That was her favorite, too. And she ate him. So that like, was yeah, no. <laughs> ate the favorite one. <laughs> we have no chance. We have no choice at all. <laughs> so, Zach, could you tell us all a little bit about your uh, screen image there? What uh, what what is this image of you? Uh, is this from your recent Flagstaff circuit? No, this, I mean, this was near Flagstaff, but it was, uh, got two years ago now. Hmm. Um, we were, uh, hiking, uh, I was hiking with a friend up mountain. You met him, Josh. He went with us to Texas. Um, yeah. 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 We were hiking to the top of Mount Humphreys, uh, the highest point in Arizona. So it was a cool trip. Um, I think this picture, he's, uh, he turned around and he's like, so Zach, how you doing? And it's just my reaction. <laughs> 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 like yep <laughs> it definitely looks like the picture they'd use if you got lost in the wilderness yeah they would talk about <laughs> but i'm still like taking it like glass half full yeah, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what can you do mountain man zach <laughs> <laughs> hasn't been seen since <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that's hey. definitely the face of someone who's like well at least i'm not at work you know <laughs> It's like a charging bear. Which I feel like you it. would say that even as you're dying of thirst. I yeah. Mean, like, this sucks. Oh, at least I'm not at work. Instead of <laughs> instead of like moving rocks around to spell out help for airplanes, it's just, yeah. at least I'm not at work. I'm not at work. <laughs> at least I'm not answering emails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least I'm not being called stupid by, <laughs> by some stupid human. Fellow human being, yeah. <laughs> you know, a raven is pulling out the inside of your nostril <laughs> <laughs> i'm like hey man i won't need it soon so <laughs> <laughs> very that, that's that's very uh, uh big of you i guess yeah I'm trying to think of a word to sort of say that's very natural <laughs> yeah very let me sacrifice myself for the rest of life <laughs> yeah very accepting of it yep yeah Time to recycle my nutrients. To recycle them. <laughs> so you were going to talk about echinoderms, really? Was that going to be the first thing uh, you're going to yeah, talk that, about? Yeah, that's that's the first thing I have pulled up right now is a type of echinoderm. Wow. Actually, it's going to. Do you I, do you know what basket stars are? You heard of basket stars? Yeah, I know what they basket are. stars are. Yeah. But yeah. They are. They are ooh. weird. They are Especially weird. seeing like images of them and just how they're just. Yeah. Like, yeah. And sometimes they look like plants, like when they're stretched out. Mm-hmm. So for those of you who don't know, basket stars are like, they're, uh, oh crap, I forgot the order that they're in, but they're in the same group as like sea, sea stars, brittle stars, um, more distantly sea cucumbers and all them. Um, and I have a video of one. Can you see the screen? 
Uh, I see the I see a Zoom screen right now. Okay. YouTube. Here we go. I see YouTube. All right. I have a video pulled up of a basket star eating. And there, and you can kind of see how it looks like a plant. But yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Like to the left of the screen, you're gonna see I think like an amphipod just like fly in there. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, there he goes. I mean, this thing just looks like a stinking weird bush. Yeah. Look at it. It's and it's kind of enclosed. <laughs> there is a plant that kind of does that, right? Where you touch it and like the leaves close in. Uh, yeah, I think it's a type of mimosa. Yeah, um, yeah. That will that will sort of do that weird kind of leaves close thing? Yeah. But this is definitely more creepy because now it's like consuming. <laughs> yeah. Look, that amphipod is gone. Even yeah. like the other branches are coming in to like hold it down. <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah. But that is weird. Um, can you imagine if there were like a, like a, I don't know, juniper tree size ones, <laughs> <laughs> and like a scuba diver like was like, <laughs> yeah, didn't notice it. And he's like, oh, oh. yeah, I, I, you know, I wonder how big. I know there is some, um, uh, is it uh, asteroid? Is that the group that just regular sea stars are part of? Yeah, um, yeah, there are some of those that are like three or four feet across. I know. So, yeah, um, and it kind of makes me wonder. You know, what is the, what is the 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 is that the largest echinoderm? Is that the largest echinoderm that ever was? Um, I I can't think of off the top of my head. I mean, I guess I'm I'm not an echinoderm specialist at all. But yeah, yeah we need. Um, I can't think of anything in the fossil record even that's really that. We need Adolf Seilacher to tell us. He could tell um, us, but we yeah. can't now. <laughs> But uh, oh, yeah, he's yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to say, like, because even the fossil ones, like, they seem to be about the same size as the ones we see today. There's yeah. Not any that are, like, overly huge. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. But, I mean, what a crazy, and I'm not even sure, like, what's the biggest, uh, um, um, is, are there sea cucumbers that are as big as, I don't know, like, how big does a sea, cu sea cucumber get? Are, are there, arm size sea cucumbers i just i just don't know honestly um, i i think i think that's like the max they get um kind of like arm size but girthier <laughs> right i know when i was in mexico i found some pretty decent ones that were cool but there, there wasn't anything that was like freakishly huge yeah um, and there's no like freakishly huge sea urchins either. I don't think there's like a no. There's not like basketball size sea urchins. No, either. no, yeah. Wait a minute. And I Come don't on, think evolution. there have been either. I think sea urchins are also something that have kind of remained about the same size too. Yeah. Uh, so there's something about echinoderms that can't get huge. <laughs> yeah. No, that's really cool. And I think aren't aren't they exclusively marine? Or is there is there are there any freshwater echinoderms? Uh, I'm pretty sure they're exclusive. I know there's some freshwater sponges. Yeah. Um, echinoderms. I think they're exclusively marine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what the hell is that? I, I can see what this video. Yeah. I don't even know what this is. I didn't, but we can watch it. <laughs> yeah. Looks like some. Let's see. Oh, it's there. There's a kid in the way. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Look at that thing. They're just did that kid clean. just sneeze into that or they, they <laughs> dropped, like, a bunch of brine shrimp in there or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh it's eating oh, like the little part oh, oh it's like, like grabbing all the little krill yeah that. i'll take that i'll take that one and that one and that one yeah, yeah that's mine that's mine now yeah <laughs> uh, yeah you sneeze I, yeah i mean just for my money a kind of derms are just the weirdest and i and even more so to me than kind of any cylinderate uh, just because look at this yeah i think it's because there's some weird level of familiarity when i look at an echinoderm that sort of is you know there's some recognizable structures there and but they're just so weird yeah and it makes it even more eerie and weird that you know especially these guys yeah, I, mean, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but it kind of looked like he had a butthole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. 
Um, I see the kids sneezing it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Trevor, what did you do that for? Oh, we can't come to the museum anymore now. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, come on, Mom. We're members. Oh, I guess you're right. I'd be funny if he sneezed and it started grabbing all those particles and like the aquarium employees were all like, whoa, I've never oh. seen that thing move. <laughs> <laughs> I guess basket stars could be like considered giant and kind of derm just because how far they can stretch out. Yeah, that looks pretty but, big, I guess. Yeah. It, can, it looks like, I, I mean, that's pretty big. Yeah. I wonder what zoo, Seattle Aquarium, or I'm going to make a future plan there. I'm going to go tell uh, Rebecca after this that, hey, we have to go sneeze into the Brittle Star tank. Yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> let Trevor do it. I think we're really like, sure. that's just how it is. He's still there. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably like one of those, like when you can't pay at a restaurant to make you wash dishes. He's still like... <laughs> Trevor now works there. He doesn't have a choice. He doesn't get <laughs> trying to... <laughs> He's trying to pay off the brittle star he killed. <laughs> so Gavin. Yeah. I got a question for you. What's that? You would say humans are doing a pretty good job at pruning the tree of life, right? Yeah, I think we're, a pretty stellar job. It's just, we're pretty, yeah. We're yeah. snapping branches off left and right. Yep, yep. A lot of species in peril. But I do have good news. What's that? Because pubic lice. Oh, nice. Are still not going extinct. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Well, yeah. you know, go. Go pubic lice. Um, yeah, go, yeah they're, they're doing a good job. Also an underused name for a sports team, if you ask me. Um, yeah, pubic lice. <laughs> that could be, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's, well, I'm not going <laughs> to, and I'm not going to go any further with that. <laughs> there's, there's some good uh, jokes like about colleges that could be made about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um but I, I feel like there was um, uh, an episode of Nova or something 10 or so years ago where they talked about the evolution of pubic lice and how scientists had discovered that, um, no, never mind. It was about head lice, human head lice actually derived from um, non-human ape pubic lice, which... Oh. There's questions that need to be addressed. Uh, so we had the pubic lice first from non-human apes. Yeah, from non-human apes. Um, or and, pubic and, lice, and those are what our head lice are more closely related to than whoa. our pubic lice. So how, I mean... Oh, that is weird. Yeah. Then, I, don't, uh, ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> well, that's... I'm sorry. The world is not... <laughs> you zach i apologize for that no, no I, I don't like it therefore my opinion outweighs yeah well you're um i i we I, it may take some i may have to go back and look and see if i could find it i think all the novas i think you can watch all novas maybe not ever but for free um on the pbs website so it might be yeah yeah we're I'll going back and looking that up or at least doing a, a google search for you know trying to find legitimate sources for what i just said but yeah no, it's kind of it, one of those what oh that's definitely interesting especially if it was like 10 years ago it would it'd be cool to see whatever updates yeah. there are about that too yeah like it turns out they're even more weird <laughs> yeah yeah i do like this uh tagline here or even if you clear cut your forest <laughs> these, lice will back back. <laughs> these lice will find a way to survive <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah See, people are going to take that the wrong way and go, oh, it means we can clear cut the forest and we'll survive. It's like, no, that's not what. Yeah, that's yeah, not, yeah. That's not, no. Yeah, bad move, Wired. You're confusing people. <laughs> so, yeah, because of this article, that means we can cut down every tree. Yeah. And we'll be fine. We'll be fine. The pubic lice are doing it. But... <laughs> yeah. This reminds me of a old kids in the hall sketch. Oh, no. Where... <laughs> In Kinsa Hall, they were a Canadian comedy troupe. They're still around, but they were making a Canadian sketch comedy show in the late 80s and until the mid-90s. And um, one of the sketches was an American cowboy guy comes up to Canada, and he's all, uh, you guys have, like, electricity stuff up here in Canada? And <laughs> he's, hitting on, <laughs> he's hitting on a barista or something. 
And he says, you know what? You're cute. You should come up and see me. And he throws his hotel, his motel key on the table. And it starts from his pants and it starts moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, because he's in a pharmacy and he's asking for... Um, <laughs> He's asking for anti lice medication, and then he like <laughs> throws the key on and it moves across the table. <laughs> All right, anyway. Haha, ha, funny times from the early 90s. Oh, God. Yeah. Look at how perfectly well this thing is adapted. I mean, this yeah. thing, uh, it, it's just amazing. <laughs> Especially when you get down to like, I don't know, just, just the way like its claws kind of hook. Mm-hmm. It kind of looks like they have a little hinge or something. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm wondering. I just was wondering that. Is that an yeah. actual I I some weird appendage. Yeah, I wonder if it is. Yeah. Let's see what this uh every few years an alarm is raised. Habitat loss puts the species at risk. Public grooming has led to a severe depletion of crab louse populations. An environmental disaster in the making for this species. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a weird like I don't Oh man. Will the noble pubic louse like I want to know graze <laughs> the rolling plains of our crotches and great herds <laughs> be driven to extinction? <laughs> ah, oh, that's poetic. That is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> it makes me wonder because, like, when you think about people love whales, people love tigers, yeah. and like any kind of movement started to get them you have like this massive like support yeah. and cheers but yeah. i want to know what like like this guy promoting like pubic lice conservation how big was the stadium of people <laughs> that that showed up you know that showed up this, yeah he's like giving this like poetic he, like he's saying this he's like well yeah. the noble pubic louse which once grazed the rolling plains <laughs> of our crotches <laughs> in great herds <laughs> be driven to extinction <laughs> and then like and Eric then it Copeland shows theme song yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it shows like the stadium, and there's like eight people, like in a eight stadium, people. like a, a basketball. They were like, just Whoa. there looking for a bathroom. They didn't actually yeah. know. <laughs> like, oh, I thought this was the bathroom. <laughs> this was... Some of the guys are like, wait, oh, the basketball game's at 10. <laughs> <laughs> and they all get up and leave. And like... <laughs> the short and curly answer is no, even with new evidence in a research paper. I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> delighted or annoyed by the uh, uh, yeah. cutesy snarkiness of this uh, of this article. I think I kind of like it right now. I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's hard to tell, like, yeah. if this no right here, if you you can read it in different ways, I guess. Yeah. Like the short and curly answer is no. Like positive, we're just like yeah. no. We're stuck with them. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of curly. <clears throat> Uh, are you go three since students, since I first heard the term short and curly is probably at age, I don't know, 10 or 12. Uh-huh. That was probably about the time that curly fries became a thing in in the in society. Um I think I've never had for some reason I I just have I just don't really go for curly fries. And I think it's because just it's short and curly. Short and curlies, and for some reason I th- I know they're not, you know, deep fried pubes. I know that yeah. <laughs> um I uh, uh, well, I hope I okay. Listen, I just said no. I assume intellectually that <laughs> there are not. It's not like a nucleus of a pube inside of each yes. curly fry. <laughs> um, though I think now we have to make an investigation. Uh, I think the first time I heard short and curly, I was thirty. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> like three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like eight seconds ago when I was reading this article. <laughs> eight seconds ago. <laughs> Uh, the idea of linking genital deforestation by clear cladding and subsequent decimation of pubic fauna. Mm. So, wait a minute. What other fauna are there? Do we have more? I mean, I'm sure there are like, no I, other fauna than pubic fauna. Is that what you're? Is that what you're surprised? Well, when you say pubic fauna, it makes me think like there's more than just lice. Uh, um, I guess there could be like mites, but <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, that um, might be what they're talking about. Yeah, I think mites. Do you think us. that? Um, do you think that there's like a, a like a niche partitioning between lice and mites, or are like it's or is there competition? Do they kind of like you know, hey, I'm here now. You guys are out of here. 
or I you know, if... like you stay in your part of the pubes i'm yeah, staying stay... in mine and we're gonna you know it's gonna be like a perfect little ecosystem situation there i wonder well so here's i wonder how much smaller the mites are than the lice hmm. because it's kind of like yeah, like uh, the kiwi bird in New Zealand is so small because the moas got there first and became yeah. like, you know, the giant birds and the, that niche was filled. Right. So I wonder, yeah, it could, whoa, whoa. Whoa. We just confirmed that uh, our crotches are New Zealand. We're going to write a grant, I think. We're going <laughs> we <have> to study. <laughs> We're gonna get money. <laughs> Did you just say our crotches are New Zealand? <laughs> okay, I just wanted to see, yeah. make sure you yes. that. I've had a couple of them. I was worried you missed that. Yeah, no, I caught it. I thought, <laughs> and then I thought, no, I'm, that's, the, that's the beer. That's an echo of a beer. That didn't um, if there's any people in the Target Grades are Awesome Facebook group, I did not mean that. And if you're from New Zealand. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I got to say also, even though um, we're not talking about vertebrates, this little ongoing video thing here that's going on to the right on this oh. wired oh. thing. I've this been is. impressed with the with the diversity of, of maybe non commonly known vertebrates that they've been sort of showing on this thing. Like right now they're talking about the agouti. Yeah, yeah. Earlier, yeah, yeah they were talking about seahorses and then before that something else that was kind of unusual. So I, I do appreciate they're not showing. I just There's a kitten really... riding a, a, a polar bear. You know, <laughs> or something. No offense to kittens and polar bears. I just am sick of seeing kittens riding polar bears. Yeah, we need I mean, more of goodies. On yeah. I I also realized the lesser known mammals always have like the fun names. Yeah, that's true too. To say it, the goody, uh, the Selenodon. Yeah. Ol Olinguito. <laughs> yeah. But we're not here to talk about vertebrates. So yeah, man. What are we doing? This is non. This is not tardigrade, tardigrade invertebrate. invertebrate. Non Wednesday. We have ninety-seven percent of all animal life to get through. We can't. We can't waste time on vertebrates. No, we can't. Um, I was gonna move on, but I just saw this Friday night lice. So I'm gonna see what that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like this author now. I think I've I've gone from. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much in the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you write this? Did I, well, it sounds like yeah. something I would write. Man. Hey, speaking of invertebrates, look, there's a picture of Ted Cruz down there. Um, oh. I was wondering, wait a minute, is that, yeah. is that a blobfish or is that Ted Cruz? And, uh, it's it's kind of funny you say that because I follow a page on Facebook called, literally called Spineless Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> so other people also acknowledge that he's an invertebrate. <laughs> other invertebrates, however, don't. They are... Oh, they're they're pissed. That, they're pissed about it, yeah. That we lump him in with the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. In fact, that's the only thing that actually unite. That's the only other thing that unites invertebrates. Uh, is you know they don't. There, it's just they. Hate, oh yeah, they want to be associated. Yeah, yeah. If there's anything on this earth that would make invertebrates a monophyletic group, it's their mutual it, disdain they, they, for mutual hatred. Group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have to like, we have to, we have to draw that cladogram. I think that's uh that would probably unite like all Monarans though, I think probably. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, which, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> this new research makes a stronger case that genital shaving and waxing could lead to a decline in public lice infestations. That's that's a that's a statement, is what that is. And I yeah, I have a, the, uh... we need a David Attenborough special about this. Yeah. Um, um, like, I think one came out, uh, which one, a life on our. It, it was one of the ones where he like had a more serious tone mm -hmm. about all the environments that were destroying, kind of like a montage of like you know the melting ice, the burning forests. Mm -hmm. Like they should splice that with somebody just like shaving. <laughs> <laughs> After getting it's, through like the images of the Amazon burning and I just cuss it. <laughs> but it's you know, still playing like available. that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's still playing that dramatic, intense music in this. <laughs> yeah.
So the next thing, kind of in celebration for the Brood X cicadas coming out this year, oh. I found out there's actually a movie called Cicada. Oh, no. And I thought we would watch the trailer. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, God. I apologize to everyone. Yeah. Have you seen Mosquito? Um, I've seen Skeeter. Skeeter. From yeah. like the 80s or 70s or something. Where okay. Big puppety, you know, things attack mustachioed hmm. folks. I don't think that, yeah, yeah. Mosquito came out in the 90s and it had the guy that plays Leatherface. Hmm. In the Chainsaw Massacres. Mm -mm. Well, that's like that movie, the Mosquito from the 90s. That's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Wow. And uh, I think this one might be worse. This cicada. Okay. So, <laughs> wow. Do you hear it? Unless yes. I'm, okay. Unless you have been living under a rock for the last 24 hours, you know that we have been under attack. Lock the doors, <laughs> close the windows, do it now. <laughs> <laughs> we have no production <laughs> value. What's going on? Something must have mutated them. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Hey, buddy, you gotta get off the street. Maybe he's okay. <laughs> are filled with liquid sugar. Sugar is flammable. Are you telling me that these bugs are bombs? Ooh. So, uh, uh that's, I mean, uh, that's Cicada. <laughs> it's, 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 yes, that, it, that looks, I, mm. <laughs> I wonder if every few <laughs> of these that we do, one should be like a movie night. I think maybe. Yeah. Watch, yeah. Watch like Holy Potatoes. Wow. Eight, 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 I'm eight. not sure I could that that looks so <laughs> I, like, I like the guy getting carried off and it look <laughs> he's like standing in front of a green screen. Like obviously. Yeah. And then the air like, oh, oh. the green screen in front of people driving. You can't, yeah. you can't <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that more expensive? Yeah. <laughs> Would you think to actually just film? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, you know, my video production skills and knowledge are lacking. I yeah. Think I admit. Um, but, uh, yeah. oh my gosh, that looks. That looks, that was bad. It that makes me like, go back yes, and not... watch Mosquito. Yeah. Um, because at least they had like big prop mosquitoes mm -hmm. and like, damn. Yeah. I take back every bad thing I said about that movie. When I, said <laughs> <laughs> I take back every bad thing I said about Mosquito. About Mosquito. <laughs> well, that was uh, all the stuff I pulled for this prototype episode. All um, right. Did you have any closing invertebrate things you want to say? <laughs> I have. That, that aren't tardy grades? Um, you know what? I don't think I have anything particularly awesome, uh, except that uh, I will say that I've got a couple of, you know what? Why don't we talk about real quick? How about some invertebrate bucket lists that we have? So I would like, oh, my yeah. favorite animal is an octopus and I have never seen one in the wild in real life. So Ooh. to me, seeing an octopus is a bucket list thing and seeing a onycophoran is maybe even slightly more of a bucket list invertebrate for me to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I was going to say Ani Coffrin because uh, okay, I actually have seen an octopus, so. <laughs> yeah, you got to see one down. Yeah, did, did you see it? Was he, uh, was it in a shell? Did it, like, close itself up? Were you telling me that, or was that someone else? Who's... No, it was um, hiding, be like, between two rocks, like, in a crevice. Oh. It was kind of staring at us and coax it out and put it in a bucket because we had to. For, it's, like, like, document the invertebrates. Oh wow! Yeah, for the class, I kind of felt bad for it. Like I don't, I don't think it wants to be in this bucket. Uh, so you say? Uh, so how did you say? You said onycophoran. How did you say it? I said it wrong. I said onycophoran, and you said it a different way. Oh, is there? 
Onagofrin? You said Onagofrin, right? I said Onagofrin, yeah. I've never heard anyone say that word out loud, except for you and me just now, so I don't know oh, how to really say it. So That's how I first heard it, was Onagofrin. Okay. Um, I kind of actually... like it better. Um, Onagofrin, I like that better than Onagofrin for some reason. Onagofrin. But I just have never, literally never heard anyone say that. I don't know any Onagofrin. Anacophorologist, Anacophoron, Anacophoronists, Anacophoronists, Anacophorologists. Yeah. Let's see, what's a? Would you be? What, what would that be? Would you be? Uh, well, I know a lot of times, like people who study arachnids are grouped as entomologists, even though they're not technically. Yeah, right. yeah. Would someone who studies like a Anacophoron or even a tardigrade be? Grouped as an entomologist, or would Ooh. they be their own? I think I think that might be a stretch. Yeah. yeah well, maybe. Hmm. The, those are the two groups that are thought to be like basal to like insects, you know. Yeah. Or, yeah. Those two specifically. Yeah. Um, and at least when I was a kid, they were thought to be sister taxa. I don't know what the latest is on. Oh. Ooh. I haven't heard that. I mean, that was in the 80s from like a kid's nature book that uh, my grandparents had. Yeah. Um, and I kind of always sort of grew up thinking that, or that was in my head at least. And, um, I don't know what the latest is. I, I think I've heard that that's no longer thought to be the case, that uh, they've been pulled away. And one of those groups is actually now more closely allied with true arthropods than mm -hmm. the other one. I just can't remember which is which, though. You just uh, reminded me of a bucket list invertebrate. Let's see if I can pull it up. I'll share screens again. I want to see these. Uh... Sure. These leaf hoppers with the weird oh! like Did, structures under <laughs> are these ones with the weird inflating eyes no oh, no, no that's something else oh. look at that weird i'm thinking of some other weird i'm thinking those of a fly are, that has those really long inflating stock stock eyes but this is weird as heck yeah, this is look at this, this thing fucking wow. weird. there's that what's going up on top of its head are these are these uh i don't know what these are it calls them helmets i definitely have to do more research on these guys. We'll do a whole episode on this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some of them have like different shape, like this spike. Or yeah, or this guy. Wow. Like I don't even know what to make of what, what's, uh, yeah. what's up. Like, why is this a thing? I mean, can you hop with all that action <laughs> yeah. going on? Leaf hopper my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Get this thing. This guy actually kind of reminds me of a trilobite. Oh, yeah. Is sort that... of. I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. Of, one of the weirder. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Well, that was my last minute <laughs> bucket list. Bucket list. That's a good one, too. I yeah. probably do a bucket list one. Well, all right. Um, thank you for watching, anyone who does. <laughs> yeah. I'm, and if you did, I, that's a. Wow. If you I don't know whether to congratulate you or, you know. I hope you're very drunk. That is probably, you know, a good way to approach this entire situation. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, if you're going to keep watching this, um, just show up drunk and make sure you're still drunk when you leave. Mm -hmm. Probably yeah. the best. <laughs> and maybe we'll do like a, a, a community Zoom one sometime where people who are. In fact, you know what? The only time we had so far, we actually had a. <clears throat> tardigrade a tardigrades are awesome meetup one time like five four or five years ago oh, really a local bar in tempe yeah and about five or six of us showed up and just kind of we like tardigrades. Tardigrades. <laughs> or not i don't remember what we exact up but i do remember it was like okay this is kind of cool and we didn't do it again so that might be a maybe we can do like a uh, community cocktail tardigrade hour yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be or, cool. Or a community non-tardigrade Wednesday, not on Wednesday, since yeah. nobody wants to get blitzed on a Wednesday. <laughs> on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll save these recordings and actually put them up on Wednesday. But maybe we can do like a live thing on 
secret Friday or something. Yeah. Ooh. Just don't tell anybody it's not Wednesday. Yeah. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> hey, I thought this was not Friday and Vertical Wednesday. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. All right. Thank you.